Let's try that again with my mic on. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to uh, another of my Wednesday streams. I'm really excited about today because um, we're doing the Batman the Anime Series Lost Episode, um, aka the Adventures of Batman Robin for the Sega CD. Um, so this is what I've been looking forward to doing for a long time. It's um, been a little bit of a challenge just because of the, I guess, technical difficulties that my laptop has running a game like this, but I think I got it all smoothed out. That's, that's the reason why I'm starting the stream a little later today. I had a couple of hiccups, um, but I think it's all going to run really well and really smoothly. And um, so like the, the main attraction of this game is that it has these cutscenes that play throughout the levels that actually look like an episode from the anime series. Um, you can watch it all if you go on YouTube and search for the Lost episode, Batman the Anime Series Lost episode. You can watch all the cutscenes in a row. Um, I definitely recommend doing it that way because uh, the gameplay, like some of you have been saying in the comments already, the gameplay is a little rough. It's um, very much a vehicle-based game, so there's a lot of car, like Batmobile stuff and um, Batwing. So I think it's almost entirely vehicle-based. But we will uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll boot it up and see what happens. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and say hey to some of y'all who've chimed in. We got interview show. Uh, hello, hello. The uh, Hunt Productions. This is going to be awesome. Um, I see Serum Lake, that is Luke Mears, who does not have a cloud. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not a lot of gameplay from this game because it's not very good, you're totally right. Um, but, we'll see what happens. DC Fan 239 got the Discord notification. If you are part of the Watchtower Database Discord server, um, I give everyone a heads up when I'm going live. So that's a really good way to, um, to go on there and get reminded of, uh, of when these streams happen. But yeah, um, hello, hello. Yeah, <laughs> Zachary Morin, you know what's up, you know what's up, Zachary. Um, so, another game day, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, um, cool, hey, Evermore Studios, um, good to see everybody, you know what? Um, there's been exciting things happening in the Watchtower database world. Um, you know, last Sunday James put out a video, unboxing video about the Red Hood action figure, and uh, we've got one that we want to give away to everybody on our, uh, as we ramp up to 100,000 subscribers. We are, I think at like, maybe we're getting close to 68,000, so we're still a little bit ways away. Um, when we did our birthday bash last September, we were a little bit more gung-ho about trying to get 100K really quickly, and it didn't quite happen, but we still have a bunch of really awesome prizes that we're gonna give out uh, as we hit those milestones anyway. One of them being the Red Hood action figure from the Adventures Continue. So um, make sure to keep watching all the new Sunday videos and comments so you can uh, win some of that stuff. Um, a lot of comic books, a lot of other action figures, and uh, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Um, so what else um next sunday i can't tell you i can't tell you what the video is gonna be you're just gonna have to wait and see tomorrow uh we're dropping a trailer for uh for next sunday's video so get excited about that be on the lookout it's like a little quick little 30 second trailer about uh about next sunday's video it's gonna be a lot of fun um so so you have already <laughs> dropped a lot of interesting questions here. Uh, first of all, um, Jack Napier Brown asked me my thoughts on Invincible. I have not watched it yet, but I, I'm probably going to try to check it out this weekend. I've been wanting to, to get around to it, um, and I haven't read... I, I think I've only read the first issue of the comic series, so I need to uh, let me go check that out. Um, yeah, yeah. So... Nick Sorensen asks um, if I will ever do streams of the Adventures of Batman Robin and Superman Activity Center PC games just for the fun of it. That's a good question. I um, I don't have a way to run them right now, but I did have both of those games when I was a kid. Like I was probably first, second grade playing those in my parents' computer. So I have like I have some really fond memories of those Activity Center games. Um, I'd love to play them. Uh, I just gotta figure out a way how. So right now, no, but but it's possible. I'll look into it. Um, Fandom, yeah, DC Fandom's coming back this October. I think it was October 16th they announced today, so that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, I gotta check out Invincible. Um, watch our database world. So I am currently working on a script. Um, my next video is going to be... Uh, well, I'm going to do a quick review on the Justice Society World War II animated uh, movie. Um, it just came out yesterday, and I watched it last night, and uh, a quick 
spoiler free take on it um because i guess i'm gonna do a longer like 10 minute video uh review that'll get into more of the spoilers and stuff but it was uh it was a lot of fun um i thought it was a really like i you know it pulls from a bunch of other world war ii based dc comic stories that we've seen in the past but it's not like totally rehashing anything so i, I thought it was really refreshing how it was like it kind of kept me guessing the whole time. I didn't, I couldn't quite figure out where it was going to go um, based off like, you know, pre existing material. And that was, uh, that was a lot of fun for me. And um, I found myself really enjoying their take on Hawkman of all characters. Um, I, I like Hawkman. Um, I've only really read the Jeff Johns run, but I thought they did a really good job with his character in the Justice Society movie. Um, Wonder Woman's a lot of fun. Uh, Barry Allen's great. Um, it's very much in the same continuity as Superman Man of Tomorrow. Um, so it, it absolutely connects to that film as well. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so that's like just a quick, like it was good, y'all should check it out if you uh, are interested in the Justice Society animated movie. Um, there's a really great commandy short um, that comes along with it that's like just totally ripping off uh, Jack Kirby's style. Not ripping it off, but like it pays homage to it like uh just it's it's beautiful to look in animation um there's that and then there's a really cool uh sneak peek for the batman the long halloween part one um that makes me a lot more excited for it than i was from the trailer and stuff the sneak peek actually like um yeah <laughs> it, it helps my expectations so yeah um so yeah yeah um I think we should get going. Probably not a Marvel guy. Ted, have you seen Falcon and Winter Soldier? Um, yeah, so I have seen uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I've, I've finished it. Um, I thought it was fun. It wasn't as fun for me as WandaVision, uh, but it's still a good show. There's um, there's lots to like about it. I think the, um, you know, like the character Sam Wilson's really, really interesting. Um, and I think he's got uh, some really cool places to go in the Marvel Universe coming up soon. Um, I, I think like maybe my main problem with it was pacing. Some of the episodes felt a little uneven um, and like there'd be stuff that was maybe set up in episode one that wouldn't really pay off again until like episode five and, and it was just uh, like I, I guess I would have liked to see a little bit more consistency throughout everything. Um, but yeah overall good, good stuff. Um, it just felt safe for a Marvel show. It, I mean which is fine. It's, uh, it's Marvel um, it's just what you'd expect out of a Marvel film. Whereas, like, WandaVision felt a little bit more uh, fresh, experimental, and different than what we've seen before. But yeah, um, I mean, still, Falcon Winter Soldier is a lot of fun. I actually know, I know one of the actors who was in it. It was the, uh, when you watch it, there's a senator who, um, in the first episode, he's the guy who actually announces the new Captain America. Um, I don't know, I know that guy. <laughs> That's just my brief, like, I know him. I know that actor. Um, anyway, yeah, um, I think we should get down to the game, y'all. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna turn it on, and we can. Uh, I'll just play through and watch the the cutscenes and everything. The cutscenes are definitely the most fun aspect of this game. So, without further ado, let's let's do it. Make sure I get the right screen. There it is. Okay, let me know if um, the sound ratio <laughs> is okay um, in relation to my voice. That's something I'm um, trying to get a handle on, uh, but I got to turn down my, my headphones just to hear. Okay, I think this should do it. But yeah, um, I guess just... Once the sound comes back, yeah, it's back now. So just let me know if it needs to go a little higher or lower, and I can definitely adjust it. But here we go, The Adventures of Batman and Robin, Sega CD. Let's start. I'll turn it up more just to be safe.
It froze. Why'd it freeze? <laughs> it's a cool shot, though. It's a little quiet. Okay, that's good to know. I can bump up the sound. But it froze on me. It froze on Batman's face. Okay, I'm going to restart it real quick and hope that uh, that's the answer. Oh, nope, there it goes. <laughs> okay, we gotta let go. We gotta let go. Batteries, turbines to speed. That is a Adam West reference right there. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to pause it for just a second. Yeah, I know. What a perfect time to freeze. I'd be willing to restart the game and uh, do that again if y'all want to. And um, it's still trying to uh, troubleshoot the sound. But I'm actually going to play it on my end real quick. Just want to make sure. Yeah, I think it's okay. All right. You know what? I am going to restart it and play it through one more time. Just because it would be fun to watch the whole cutscene without it pausing like that. Because it was kind of cool. <laughs> so let's give that one more try here. Uh, it was 1995. For some reason, I thought this came out in 1994. It's not a big deal. Okay, give the cutscene one more chance. Awesome. Yeah, like what James said here in the comments, the, um, it's never been like re-released. Okay, pause it again before I get going there. Um, but yeah, the animation is from Acom, I believe. The same studio did most of the animated series. Um, so that's kind of why it's regarded as the, lo the lost episode. Um, it even had like a production number that was... Uh, I don't remember how many episodes of the original anime series of Raw. I want to say they were 86, and this was like production number 87. That's probably not right, but you know, you get the idea. All right, here we go. So um, so I got to go to the bank. Basically, I um, can drive and I can fire. Those are my two weapons here, or my two controls. So, um, okay, B is go, and okay, now I can move. And then the C button is fire. Don't. <laughs> Not the civilians. And that is another uh, another freeze. <laughs> this, okay, there we go. I was about to say, this emulator kind of struggles a little bit, but it generally works. So I think um, if it freezes again like that, I'm just going to roll with it. And, um, and I apologize in advance that that happens frequently. I don't think it will, but... It's hard to tell, like, who's not a civilian in this, because, like, everybody seems to be a civilian. I'm, like, torn between wanting to follow the traffic laws and passing people. I should try to pass people, though. Okay, that's better. I'm almost out of time. Siege 2. Oh, okay. I should get those little lightning things.
I'm bumping them a little bit. I think a little bumping is okay. As long as I'm not hitting them with missiles like I could be. But like, I think there's just going to be some cars that are going to hit me or like shoot me with guns and then I think those guys are okay to hit with missiles. <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my logic. Stage three, all right. That was bumpy. The soundtrack does sound a lot like Batman Beyond, though, whoever said that a few seconds ago. All right, Lily and Violet must be stopped. Yeah, they, they must be, but where are they? Okay, that's one of them. Okay, so there's a lot of pumpkins in the road. Or something. <laughs> this is a good time to fire missiles at them. I guess Lily's in one car, Violet's in the other? I don't know how that works. But it is hard to dodge these things, because they're, like, everywhere. Okay, I got one of them. No! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pause for a second and take the chance to save because I would hate to have to do like all that driving over again. I'm gonna call it lost up one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna check the, um, what's up? Sounds a little bit like um, Mortal Kombat 3. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. Okay, here we go. I'm going to keep going. Has anyone watched the Mortal Kombat movie yet? I've been uh, debating like if it's worth my time or not. Oh, whoops. Oh, I stopped driving. Trying to figure out how to do that targeting again. There's like a specific target button that I'm not using as much as I should. Well, okay, I'll just keep stopping him, I guess. <laughs> but I do have a save file in case I do die, so that's that's good at least. 
so I can start right back up here. that left bar is the damage and I uh, <laughs> I'm taking on a lot yep okay I'm gonna reload that save file just I don't know if it's like um, taking off lives. Yeah, I do have like five lives near the top, so. So some of y'all watch the Watch Shower Database. Huh. All right, here we go. Try again. All right, that was, that was better. I'm, I'm like right behind him. If I can keep that up, that'd be nice. If I can keep that target thing like like it is there. Maybe I just I should swerve more drastically. That might help me out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna reload that one more time. It's funny, um, we, we've had to do a lot of cleaning up in the comments lately. <laughs> I appreciate the mods we've got in here. I was about to do the same. Sometimes you can just tell when it's spam. So thanks everybody who's real. We appreciate all of our real viewers. <laughs> I'm real. You're all real. All real to me. Except the ones who aren't. This is a really tricky game. It is very hard. And to be honest, my fingers are kind of starting to cramp. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good, try again. Who do you fight in this game? I think you end up fighting like the Riddler and Poison Ivy. Right now, it is um, Violet and Lily, apparently, who are driving these cars and throwing pumpkins at me. So Violet and Lily are. <laughs> and there's like no way to dodge their pumpkins. You would think there would be, but they make it very hard. <laughs> okay, this time I'm going to focus a little more on dodging things rather than like just firing the whole time because I've been trying to be pretty consistent about firing missiles. So I'll fire them when I'm close.
it's like right now it seems like they're too far away anyway. <laughs> so um you've seen it here everybody violet and lily are gotham city's like worst criminals they're finally gonna kill batman once and for all forget joker forget penguin forget two-face violet and lily are the criminals that we deserve They definitely come across like they're Poison Ivy henchmen just because they're both named after flowers. So I would not be surprised to learn that. is not doing very healthy. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> wow. Okay, which one uh which one are you talking about here? Yeah, um so I played something. <laughs> uh Gotham City Racer. That is one I have not played. Um okay. I'll try this again. Um Gotham City Racer was for the PlayStation, and I have a copy of it. And as of today, I finally got a way to um, to connect my PlayStation directly to these streams. So that's something um, that I should play in the future. But yeah, this one reminds me a lot of it, just because it's car-based. Um, but yeah, Gotham City Racer's in the new Batman Adventure style. It is, this is the hardest thing I think I've ever played. So, um, yeah, I would definitely play games outside the DCAU. I'm actually starting to run out of DCAU games. <laughs> so I'm going to have to start doing something else. I've still got a couple of months left ahead of DCAU specific games. I'm going to start doing like, like I played the Game Boy Advance versions of uh, Batman Vengeance, but I want to do the console version. Um, and I haven't done rise of sinzu yet but uh that's gonna be one of the ones i do soon and i'm gonna end up doing that on the console as well um i want to do just league heroes because that was written by Dwayne mcduffie i think the next time i die i might go on the internet and look up a walkthrough for this level and see if there's just any sort of strategy that i'm missing because, like, a few minutes ago, I did destroy one of the cars. I don't know if it was Violet or Lily, but I got one of them. And I think the next time I do that, I'm going to pause it and save it. Okay, yeah, I just did it. Um, So I should do that, like I just said. Okay, so I just destroyed either Violet or Lily. I'm going to just name this Lily. 
<laughs> okay, let's keep going and hopefully I can kill Violet. Or whichever one it is. Ah, uh, well, at least I saved, so... Okay. No! <laughs> Oh, I was so close. I think I was anyway, it's hard to tell. <laughs> it's the giant pumpkins that's the really hard part. Like, I don't think I can really dodge him. I'm doing better. I'm doing better. I think I'm getting the rhythm of it. I got him! I got him! Yes! Save. Okay, and we got another cutscene, so that's cool. Alright, here we go. Make it easy on yourselves, ladies. Where's your pretty boss? <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, Batman. Except to an early grave. I'm adding a new type of green to my collection, but here's an old favorite I brought just for you. The old root. <laughs> Good job, Robin. Oh, okay. Wow, it's like a clay face plant monster. Grab the axe.
Man, gruesome. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, Y'all want to watch it one more time? Because we might as well, right? I did save it. So let's um, let's watch that cutscene one more time. So that's that's um, Lily and uh, Violet. Violet and Lily. Yeah. Coming uh, to a future Legacies issue. Flattery will get you nowhere, Batman. Except to an early grave. I love that the original voice cast is in here. I just want to see um, Clayface with the big green beard again. I'm adding a new type of green to my collection, but here's an old favorite I brought just for you. I think there might have been a shot a second ago where Batman's logo was inverted. <laughs> I like a little animation error here and there. Nick Sorensen, that yeah, these are kind of Sorcerer's Apprentice vibes for this part with the uh, the silhouette. Yeah, that's intense. Evergreen Florist. All right, well, let's keep playing through another level here. Um, but I am going to take a second to save again. Stop Poison Ivy, so I'll call this one Ivy. Okay. Let's stop her. Okay, there's her truck. It's too bad it's not the Farmer Brown produce truck from Batman the Adventures Continue. But this game came out before Farmer Brown, so what can you expect? Faster! Ivy's getting away! Okay, I will try. Oh, there's trees in the road. Who put those there? I mean, I know who did it. But that's just... Oh, that's not what should be in the road. <laughs> oh, no. These should be on the side of the road. These should be near the sidewalks. This is just poor city planning. I don't even see him anymore. Okay, but I'm at stage two, so that's not bad. There they are. I see him in the distance now. Do, 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 do. So as I've been playing, I've been kind of learning that it um, definitely helps to not just keep your finger on the trigger button the whole time. 
Um, you do go faster when you're not shooting missiles. So sometimes, sometimes I don't want to be firing those. And if I go left and right, I can kind of dodge these giant uh, pumpkin things, I guess, when I'm not thinking about it out loud. <laughs> And I'm dead. Stage two. Let me let me save it. Stage two, real quick. Okay. gone again and more trees I just got some kind of item though there's a few items oh there's too many trees <laughs> like I said this is this is just inconvenient Too slow, yeah, okay, there were a lot of trees in my way. You try driving fast with all those trees in the road, game. So I guess I just need to go fast and don't worry about hitting trees because it's just going to happen. Can I blow up trees? No, that's not really helping. Wow, these trees are crazy. I did better that time though, but still like, half of it's dodging the trees, but then some of them just fall in my way. And the goal is to be fast. I'm hitting every tree right now. <laughs> Go faster, Batman, faster! Okay. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, stage three, perfect time to pause. Yay! Save. IV three. Okay. Catch up on comment real quick. Some Lego stuff. Yeah, I might I might end up playing that eventually too. I'm not sure. Um, I played through the second Lego Batman, but I've always wanted to play the third one and uh, like Lego DC Super Villains. Oh, that clock is going down fast. Okay, there we go.
They're not getting too far away from me, at least. Oh, bushes. We got bushes. Oh, dear. <laughs> I thought trees were bad, but bushes are worse. <laughs> Stage three again. I don't know if there's gonna be any more LEGO DC games. But um, when I was a kid, I played through a lot of the LEGO Star Wars games. And I kind of got to the point where it was like you played one LEGO game, you played them all, but that's not true. And the, um, the DC ones have been like really expansive. And um, those sorts of things make it really easy to, um, like, Lego DC Supervillains and Batman 3 had, like, the entire DC universe in it. And a lot of the characters you can play as their powers and stuff, too. They do, like, Lego does a really good job of making each one kind of unique. Unique, playable characters. So yeah, I want to get around to it eventually. And there's so much of the DCAU voice cast that um, was in LEGO DC Supervillains. broke down. I think I'm going to try to save again too before I get to all those bushes that freaked me out last time. <laughs> but no bush is scary as George, am I right? <laughs> George Jr. Just to clarify. We're getting political here. Getting a little political here today. No, no. <laughs> I was kind of bumpy. Hold on. I saw somebody ask a question. Um, plays Captain Clown. That's cool. Oh, once you see the ending of DC Surveillance, there's definitely another game. That's cool. Oh, a Dark Side and Anthem Monitor. Nice, nice. I don't know the never heard of her line. Um, Anti monitor? I've heard of her. Dark side? I've heard of her. I hope uh, if, if Dark side is the next game, and I'm pretty sure he's in the first one. I don't know. I know it's like the, the plot of. Um, Forever Evil with the crime syndicate coming into the, the world and the villains have to kind of team up to take down the crime syndicate. But um, if Darkseid's going to be in the LEGO games, all I want to see is him sitting in an armchair in somebody's house when they walk in. Because that's like such a Darkseid thing to do. He does that in so many comics where you'll just walk in and suddenly Darkseid's just chilling on your, on your favorite chair. And, uh, and if that's not evil, I don't know what is. That's breaking and entering.
It's it's just really disturbing to see Darkseid sitting in an armchair. There's just something about it. Oh, there's the bushes. Sh should I save? Can I save? I'm going to try to save here if I'm not too, like, destroyed. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll call it bush. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I should go on the side of the tree where the, the arm hasn't fallen down. Let's try that again. Too slow. I'm gonna try this, this bush save point that I just made for myself and see what happens. And I died. But I was getting a little better. I know my car is kinda, kinda, you know, not doing great. That's the trick of like, you gotta go fast, but you also gotta dodge the things. And it is, these, <laughs> these bushes are really hard to dodge. <laughs> And here we go. Ah, uh, too slow. Okay, let's try again. My bad. Alright, for real now. And the bushes. And I'm too slow. Too slow for the bushes. We're gonna do that again. Huh, I guess I just started that too slowly. Mmm. Alright, that's a bad life. That was bad. This is a fine balance, everybody. Thanks for bearing with me. This part is a little tricky. Oh no! It's like, I just don't have a lot of health, so it's, um, it's hard, because I can only really afford, like, three hits before I die. But I also have to go fast, so... I could start on my other save file right before I get to the trees and maybe come into it with a little more health. I might do that if, um, if this continues to be d difficult. <laughs> might give it another minute or two before I, before I resort to that. Because I would love to get through the bushes from here. Sometimes I think about how hard these games would be if I didn't have this like quick save function on the emulator that I do. These streams would be much more difficult. Oh, I almost made it. Okay, that was that gave me confidence that I can at least get through it though. That one was the closest I've been so far. That, this is bad. <laughs> I'm just going to start it over again. <laughs> wow. It's 
Sometimes it's hard to tell which side it is on for the tree. Nope, that's, yeah. Yeah, I guess there's a reason. <laughs> hey, Brian, Brian Day there. It's crazy seeing the last episode like this. Well, there's a reason I think why people cut around the car scenes. <laughs> it is not the easiest thing to do here. And there's the bushes again. <laughs> You know, if I could take my time and just dodge the trees, that'd be one thing, but because there's this the speed crunch. Ah! Barely missed that. <laughs> Too slow from the start. You have to, like, really... Like, go as fast as you can from the start. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give this, like, maybe three more tries this way, and then I'll just start back at stage three and try to just keep a little bit more health before I get to all these trees. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. Hopefully this time I can go into the trees a little bit better. <laughs> and I think I've already got as much damage as I did before. Let me keep going, though. When I die, I die. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm already doing so much worse. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the trees again. And yep, not doing great. <laughs> All right, that was a little better. Well, spoke too soon. Wow, I don't know how I was able to do that many hits just now. Oh, hey, I can like, I'm kind of invincible. Nope. <laughs> Why did I think that? <laughs> I was because I did this like rev up thing, which is cool. I'll do it again. Okay, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dodge the trees and then I'm going to do this like weird superpower rev up move that I just discovered. And that'll get me through the bushes, I hope. Well, I almost got to the bushes. Why is there a munching sound? The munching sound is me hitting the trees constantly. I think. Unless I'm chewing? I don't know. I don't think I'm chewing. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
At least I've got a game plan now. Dodge the trees and rev through all the bushes. Hmm, wrong side. Sometimes when you're about to hit a tree, you just gotta commit. You just gotta commit to whatever side you're about to hit it on. This is, okay. Oh no, <laughs> that revving move I did definitely did not help me there. I thought it would. So close, I think. I really feel like once we get past those bushes there at the end, I'm gonna like start a new a new stage and get more health and I just have hope, you know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, at least I'm getting closer now. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. But I'm getting slightly different results. Go, 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 go. Uh, well, there's <laughs> there's more trees I saw coming up, so that uh, that's a little annoying. It's like once you get out of all those bushes, there's just more trees. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going back to uh, stage three again. I'm gonna just see if there's any other way I can um can do this and just keep a little bit more health going into this. Oh, I just passed the car. That was kind of funny. I'm going way too fast. I'm doing. You almost had something there, but I lost control. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, fake watchtower database, you know. 
tried to remove you before. I consider it like a bit of a form of flattery, you know what I mean? You know, when people impersonate you, that's when you've really made it. I just hope they're having fun. It's no, you know, no big sweat off our end. It's just, it's just like really not that much fun to just keep deleting users. <laughs> like I'd rather y'all just keep engaging, you know, cause you're having fun too. Rather than like trying to do whatever this like weird annoying thing is, you know what I mean? You know, it's more engagement at the end of the day, though. Hey, yeah, <laughs> a little sad. It's all right, though. All right, I'm going back to the bush save. See what happens here. Ah. This is seriously the hardest thing. I'm gonna keep trying. I really hope I can beat Poison Ivy by the end of the stream today. That is my goal. Maybe I should just stay in front of Poison Ivy. And that way, there's no, uh. They can't hit me with, um. with trees. <laughs> Alright, that was a good idea, I think. Maybe not. Bushes, I hate them. And if, if I am not gonna lie, so let's try that again. What I just did. Part of it maybe just being like <laughs> getting ahead of the van, like I just did. That was kind of funny. I'm gonna try that again. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not gonna work out. I'm a lot more damaged than I was last time. <laughs> Going real fast like I did a second ago kind of made me lose control and it's it's a little hard to to dodge these things when I'm going that fast. Yeah, I can already tell I'm about to die again. <laughs> Earth 3 watch Star Database, that's who it is. <laughs> oh yeah, this game is frustrating. <laughs> Thanks for everyone who's still tuning in. I know it's like getting a little monotonous, but I'm really hoping if I can just get past this level or like the stage that I'm stuck on, 
It feels like I'm getting close. A lot of it's kind of like, as I'm continuing to play, I'm kind of figuring out like the, almost like a muscle memory of sorts that I need to um, effectively dodge these things. Or, you know, I thought I did. Doesn't always work. <laughs> okay, before I before I go back to that, I'm gonna try this one one more time. The save file. The trees. Yeah. I felt like that was still better, you know? I was, I was getting there. Yeah, I was, I was starting to think, like, what if I can just blow him up? Wouldn't that make my life easier? But I don't think it does enough to, to really get it out of my way. It's just making me feel better. <laughs> it almost worked. Wow, how many um how many fake watchtower databases can we have? This is fascinating. I don't know. Okay, let's try again. I'm mainly concerned, like, if there are fake accounts commenting on other people's stuff, you know? Like other um, YouTube channels. Give us a bad name. Just firing missiles while I'm doing this is just kind of like making me feel a little better. I really don't know if it's helping or hurting the level, but it doesn't seem to be making me do any worse, so it's just cathartic. <laughs> if I could have avoided those last couple bumps, that might have actually been really good. Might have been able to keep going. It's always about the same place where I die when I um, when I load here. Ah, oh, almost. She code time. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I've been kind of thinking about it. Yeah, Zachary Moore, I've seen it. I've seen it quite a bit over the last couple of weeks, too. All we can do is keep pruning, pruning the weeds when they pop in. But I'm not so concerned about it. I, like, really just want to ignore it for the most part, but. Sometimes you gotta just take a second and get rid of them. Oh, 
please, 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 come on. Oh, I was so close. That was the furthest I've gotten. I'm very close to looking up cheat codes, so if I can put them in. The only the only problem is I'm like here in the middle of the game. And I don't know if I have to like back up to put cheat codes back in or not. I'm gonna pause it here because again, this is as far as I've gotten, and I think it might be good to have a new save file right here. Okay. Yeah, if I can dodge that final tree, or what I assume is the final tree. This was not the final tree. But I might be like just a little ways away here from finally making it through. The trick is I have like just enough life to, to not hit anything. which uh, I don't know, might be impossible. I'm gonna see if I can like go a little slower too because it seems like I have a lot of time right now. Nope, I can't, see. <laughs> I cannot slow down at all. God, please. Stage four! <laughs> I've never been so happy. Everybody, let's let's all just celebrate here. We are at stage four. Who thought it could happen? Not me. <laughs> but uh but it did. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I've got my health back. I've got my health. I never have to do those trees again. Oh, there are more trees. Okay, of course. Of course there are. Of course. Yeah, and I died. But hey, at least I made it to stage four. I just gotta be a little more careful. These things are really hard. They're like right in the middle of the road. I think I'm already going to die. Lost a lot of health already. Okay. Start that again. I believe in me too, everybody. I believe in me too. Thanks, Trace. Slowly but surely making my way through it.
Oh, those trees always come out of nowhere. <laughs> How many times do I need to hit her? <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Is Mark in the chat? Oh, hi, Mark. I thought I was doing good before I hit that batch of trees. Okay. Wow. If I can get back to these trees with like a decent amount of health, I will definitely save there. But right now it's been, hasn't been a, a lot of health when I get there. And I think I was actually almost through at that time. Okay, this is right before the trees. I'm gonna call it another tree name. Okay.
That wasn't so bad. I wonder if those like little lightning bolts actually give me health or just time. It'd be real nice if it was health. I oh, don't know, I just got one though. There's another. Yeah, it's not health, is it? <laughs> We're getting there. I, I can feel it. It's that same section. There's just a bunch of trees that are just like all kind of grouped together there at the end. Wow. It kind of, <laughs> sometimes you just start like playing bumper cars with the uh, side of the road in this game. Like between the trees and the stairs and the sides of the apartments or whatever that is. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. Same spot again. See like what, what I'm trying to do is kind of stay towards the center so I can dodge left and right a little more easily. I'm also wondering if, like, maybe I'm going just a little too fast. Like, if I can slow it down a little bit, maybe that would actually help. No, oh, that's the same spot, though. Okay, I just need to maybe bear left once I get over there. Okay, here... I think, did I just make it through? I don't know. All I know is this is a new spot and I'm gonna save just, uh, just because. <laughs> oh no, that might be a really bad spot for me to save. Yeah, am I just gonna hit that bush every single time? <laughs> this might be what happened. I'm going to try one more time. Okay. Yeah, okay. That was a really dumb thing that I just did. Okay, ignore that save. I got to do the trees again. That reminded me of that Rick and Morty episode where Morty's got that um, controller that lets him redo all of his mistakes over and over again. But then he gets stuck on the same, like, falls in a puddle or gets kicked in the nuts by, by this girl he's asking out. That that just kind of reminded me of the same thing. Oh, but I just did really well on those trees, so it is all good, I think. Hmm, it was almost really good. Hold on. Reload. Oh, nope, that's the bad one. There we go. And this is where I save, even though my car is Real hurt, but that's okay.
Whoops. <laughs> that was a bad start. I'll try that again, even though I'm still alive. Okay. And I'm out of control. <laughs> Earth five. I know, isn't it crazy? Okay, hold on. I gotta load my thing again. <laughs> Y'all imagine playing this game and dodging all these trees and bushes while also continuously blocking imposter accounts on YouTube. That is the real extra level here. Okay. You know, Zachary Moore, this person won't go away. And I have to say, I've pl been playing a lot of Among Us, you know, and I've been <laughs> good, pretty good at figuring out who is suspicious and who is not. And uh, I need you to tell me if you were in the security room when, uh, when you killed the red player, Zachary Moore. I just have a little bit of suspicion. I love you, but you know, you gotta tell me right now, are you the imposter account? You gotta tell me if you are, that's the rule. It's like. It's like if you're an undercover police officer, you gotta tell me. Is it you, Zachary? <laughs> ah. You know, I've never played Among Us, but it looks fun. It is fun. <laughs> but it makes you real suspicious about everyone. <laughs> you don't trust anybody. Well, Zachary Moore, if you're not the imposter, are you queuing on? You have to tell me that, too. You have to tell me if you're queue. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I knew, I knew you had some alter ego. Well, stage four is harder than stage three. Don't let anyone ever tell you differently. I would love to drive slower. I really feel like that is something that would help, but I don't want to lose the game if I drive too slow. So uh, we'll see what happens here if I just take it a little slower now. Maybe that was the key. Too slow, though. So I can drive a little slow, but not too slow.
James is mischievous. I'll give everybody that. He's a little mischievous. Oh, I just realized I started the um, started the thing over again. I want to start here. Okay, Luke, don't let that counter get above 90. Okay, that's actually a good thing to know. So maybe that's my indicator for how slow I can go. Because I'm at 46 there. Yeah, because I definitely have to go a little slower for if I want to dodge any of these bushes. Hmm, got to 81 though, that was kind of pushing it. At least I'm getting to this next batch of trees. That's kind of a good sign. If I can get there and pass those trees. You know, I think I ran to every single bush that time. Same spot. I mean, it definitely doesn't help that I'm starting this batch of trees and stuff with, like, no health. I'm at 90% damage already. 93 with that one bush hit. 96. So, yeah, I can only afford to get hit, like, a little bit. Like, four times. Okay, I'm going to try taking it back one more time, I think. Well, I don't know. I think I can make it work. I'd rather start here than have to redo all the tree stuff I've already done. Or not like all of it, but I mean the stuff that was right before this batch. I believe in myself. It's just a matter of time. But yeah, next week, if it's going to continue to be as hard as this, I am probably going to look into cheat codes. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I've done that before on some of these streams. I did that with the uh, the Superman game for Game Boy. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to take a second to see if I can do any cheat codes for this. Um, Alright, Adventures of Batman Robin on Sega CD. <laughs> just bear with me for just a second. Let's find a, an invincibility or something. That'd be real nice.
Oh, this pulled up the wrong game. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Because there's a bunch of different versions. So I guess the only one I can do is level skip, which um, I'm willing to try. Let's see. So I do B, A, down, B, A, down, left, up, C. Oh, look at that. Aha, uh -huh, the next... Um... <laughs> Let's just pretend I beat Poison Ivy. Actually, gotta save real quick. Sorry. There we go. It's over, Ivy. On the contrary, Batman, your ordeal is just beginning. Hold it. Hand her over, Bats. We just got word one of your old enemies kidnapped Commissioner Gordon. What I can tell you is that while our dear Dark Knight was chasing me, two of his closest allies were being abducted. Commissioner Gordon and Batman's own partner, Robin. Where are they? That's for you to find out. Hopefully before they're executed. Take the flower girl downtown and grill her. I want some answers. Don't look so glum, Batman. It's all part of the game. Mmm, the game. <laughs> Okay, um, so I'm going to actually um, restart the game and, um, well, I can save here real quick. I appreciate everyone who, um, you know, has been watching me play the last couple hours. This has been such a tricky game to play um, just because the gameplay is just, <laughs> just really, not, I don't know, it's convoluted. <laughs> it's, um, it's very, very difficult. So what, what I, um, I'm going to do is just like play through all the cutscenes, I think, just back to back. Um, and just kind of skip the levels and do that. So um, we can end the stream today by watching the cutscenes. Just play um, one after the other. So give me a second here to restart it. And then, um, then I'll make that happen for everyone. Right before we sign off, we can at least like watch all the Poison Ivy cutscenes that we've started. From today, we can just play them all again. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I don't always finish a level when I do these streams, and that is okay with me. <laughs> Alright, here's the first cutscene. I love that. I wish it was more high res, but that's still. I'd say like I wish they remade this game and did it high res, but oh my gosh, I don't I don't know if you can remake this game. Okay. Next cutscene. Make it easy on yourselves, ladies. Where's your pretty boss? Flattery will get you nowhere, Batman, except to an early grave. I'm adding a new type of green to my collection, but here's an old favorite I brought just for you.
Ozzy Dragoon, I was thinking he looked like Floronic Man too. It's a good observation. So yeah, Abominatrix 650, um, we've been playing through the Adventures of Batman and Robin on Sega CD, which is known by many as the uh, Lost episode. So um, I'm playing through all the cutscenes right now from today, so we can kind of just watch them all back to back. Kidnapped Commissioner Gordon. What I can tell you is that while our dear Dark Knight was chasing me, two of his closest allies were being abducted. Commissioner Gordon and Batman's own partner, Robin. Where are they? That's for you to find out. Hopefully before they're executed. Take the flower girl downtown and grill her. I want some answers. Brian Day mentioned this was a new uh, voice actress Don't for Ivy. So of the game it could be it sounds a lot like um diane pershing though ivy said it's all part of the game that's pretty obvious her hint was about the riddler <laughs> now the other guys you just flip through joker clayface rupert thorne uh harley okay so um that means next week we'll pick back up and oh it is diane pershing okay i i didn't look it up for, to know for sure but it sounded a lot like her um so yeah next week we will do the riddler level awesome um <laughs> y'all that was hard that was really hard and um you know i gave it the best shot i could so at least we still get to see all the cool cutscenes. and uh now that i know the, the only cheat that looks like it's available for this game is uh to skip the level so if i ever get stuck at least i know that i can skip the driving part and we can watch the next uh cut scene. so um that means we'll be able to keep going the next um it might take me two or three weeks to play through this whole thing so uh, I'll keep making it happen every Wednesday for the next uh, couple weeks. And um, we will at least watch all the cutscenes together. I can't guarantee I can get rid or I can um, that I can get past all the trees and the bushes, but I will definitely do my best. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I'll answer a couple more questions here before I go for the day. The um, Zachary Moore asks why Brainiac sounded different in a league of their own, and it is because it is not Corey Burden. Um, it is, uh, I think it's the same voice actor who did Gear. I, I could be wrong, um, because I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's not Corey Burden. Um, at least that is why he does not sound the same. Yeah, um, Trace asks, is it a human thing or can Batman not kill giant plant creatures either? I don't know if you can, like, it's not the same kind of killing. Yeah, cutscenes are the best part of the game, so at least we can all watch those. I'm glad, I'm glad that it all worked out. Um, well, cool. Everybody um, who is real, <laughs> stay tuned for the, the um, next couple days. Um, Maddie's coming back tomorrow to do more um, uh, novelization read throughs for Justice League Speed Trap. Um, Saturday, he's gonna come back and do some canonicity stuff. James is taking a little bit of a break right now with his new baby. Um, he's been staying really busy doing editing for the channel. Um, and like I kind of teased earlier, there's a really big video coming up on Sunday that I think everyone's gonna love. Um, there's a trailer dropping out uh, tomorrow for next Sunday's video. So be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be really cool. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I, I wanna tell you what it is, but I can't. I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to do a review on the JSA uh, World War II movie that just came out. So that is coming up soon. And um, you might recall a few uh, a few months ago, I did um, 
a video all about Tim Burton's influence on uh, Batman the Maze series and vice versa. And so I'm kind of doing a follow-up film or a follow-up uh, video essay about um, Schumacher. And basically doing the same thing. So it's kind of like a sequel. So I'm going to be talking about Batman Forever, Batman Robin, and how it borrowed from the anime series and ultimately how those movies influenced the new Batman adventures. So that's something that uh, y'all can look out for probably in about a month. It'll probably be early June before that one comes out, but that'll be like my next major video essay one that I'm doing besides the JSA uh, World War II review. So yeah, um, otherwise catch me back here every Wednesday. Um, that's the plan. And y'all uh, take it easy and uh, I don't know, watch the JSA movie. It's really good. I don't want to spoil too much about it. So, um, you know, watch it before you watch my review because I will be spoiling things in that. So yeah, sweet. I'm about to go buy my comic books for the day. I've been um, I've been waiting to do that. I'm a couple weeks behind on my comics reading, so I'm real excited to get to the store and uh, yeah, read yeah. stuff like um, Brian Michael Bendis's run on Justice League. I haven't checked that out at all, um, but I really like the Naomi character and some of the other people. Um, what else? Um, I got to catch up on some Batman Black and White. There's uh, I really want to read Batman the Detective. I loved the first issue by Tom Taylor. Um, that really grabbed me, so I think I'm going to stick around on that one. Um, yeah, Trace Baker, I know you, Schumacher, but like, don't don't worry about it. I'm not going to focus too... It's really more of a focus on the anime series, on how, like, the Schumacher movies affected the anime series, rather than, like, getting too much into the Schumacher stuff itself. So just bear with me. It's it's going to be more BTAS oriented than, than the Schumacher films, I promise. Um, but, uh, yeah, comics... What else am I reading as far as comics go? I kind of cut down on my comics consumption lately. Um reading a bunch of indie stuff like all the black hammer books um like black hammer visions is an anthology that's coming out right now um once in future by kieran gillen that's a really good one excited for saga to, to start back up um sweet tooth the return that's been a good book yeah i don't know it's a lot of stuff watching this again <laughs> Yeah, I guess I am, Michael. <laughs> I'm watching it again. Um, all right, yeah, so I'm going to sign off. Everyone, it's been fun. I'll see you next week.